Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a and a video so that's why I thought I should get cozy and just talk about some questions that you guys left me on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's this thing. I'm going to put it on this side so make sure you follow me and this will probably be my new setup. I do live in an apartment and I live in my parents' living room so the background noise is really not ideal but it's the best that I can do so hopefully these videos for the next couple months until I move into dorms turn out good. But anyways, without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Let's get started with these questions. Some of them are serious, but some of them are stupid, funny questions, so I'm just going to answer them all for you. But the first one is, what's the best food places you found in Tennessee? And I've only been here for a week in this house, so I haven't found that many good places yet, but there is a lot of places here that are not in California, and I definitely like places like O Charlie's which is kind of like an Applebee's in California or there's Calhoun's I've been there twice now that one's pretty good too as far as fast food goes I haven't really found a lot of fast food places there is a place right close to where I live it's called Petro's and it's chili but like in every form that chili can be taken in so whether it's on a baked potato or a hot dog or just in a bowl it's like a chili fast food place I think that's interesting so I do like that place too but that's all I found for food so far not very many cool things the next question is what is your favorite Bible verse and why and my favorite Bible verse is Zephaniah 317 it's for he will sing with joy because of who you are and that just speaks to my soul. <laughs> One of my life words, if you've ever met me in person, I've probably said this to you, but one of my life words is joy, and that's just something I want to learn how to have in all situations. It's something I feel like the Lord has always taught me and always will teach me. So that's why I love that verse, because it's just like Jesus is singing with joy because of who we are, not because of who we are going to be, but who we are right now. That's just a beautiful picture to me. The next one is green beans or broccoli, and I'm definitely more of a broccoli person. Green beans are not good to me, so that's it with that. Favorite place to go currently, whether that's like a coffee shop or a store or whatever. To answer this, I haven't found coffee shops really in Tennessee yet. I haven't really explored that, but my favorite store right now, because we just found it, it's only on the East Coast so far. They said they're starting to build stores on the West Coast, but it's Altered State, and it's honestly like walking into what I picture heaven looking like. It's a Christian-based store, but it's not like a cheesy Christian-based store. Like, it's actually quality things like things that don't look stupid but it's clothing and home things and jewelry they just have everything and it's for all girls so I definitely have been going there I actually got this pillow from Altered State just the other day so Altered State I love the next two questions is what is your favorite part about Tennessee and what is your least favorite part about Tennessee and my favorite part has to be, I just think that there's so much more to do in Tennessee because there's so many states that are surrounding Tennessee. I think it's about seven or eight states that surround Tennessee. So not only do we as my family have places to explore in Tennessee, but we can just drive a few hours out of state and explore a new state. So it's really cool to get to explore. I love traveling. I love adventuring and those types of things. So I definitely think I'm going to be doing some vlogs, just exploring. I'm actually going to be posting a Nashville vlog soon from a trip that we just went on. So 
you'll be able to see that as well. However, my least favorite part about Tennessee has to be the weather. I think that's just it. The weather is okay. I definitely feel humidity more days than others, but they say that the humidity is really, really bad in August, so I guess I don't really know how bad it is, but it's honestly not as bad as people told me. They said I would just drench in sweat when I walked out the door. I've never experienced that, but maybe I will in August. I don't know. Another thing that I hate about Tennessee, other than the weather and it being so wacky, is bugs are everywhere. There's literally a fly flying around my room right now and it's annoying me, but I found three spiders in my bed. I found moths. It's just bad how many bugs are here. The next question actually is how's the weather and I just talked about it. I didn't mention though, it also rains. like randomly and that honestly makes me so angry because I hate the rain probably more than any other type of weather on the planet and for it to rain in summer which is my favorite season is just it's not good so I also hate the rain that's another thing I hate I'm trying to get over it but I'm not getting over it Next question is, what are a few different brands that you work with? I'm going to name some of the brands that I work with that I truly stand behind because there was a jewelry brand that I worked with that I actually had a necklace from them and it broke like within a few months and I posted about them and everything. So I'm definitely learning how to do brand deals and everything and what brands are trustworthy, so I'm not going to mention the brands that I don't believe in, but the brands that I do believe in are Pura Vida bracelets, which I'm a representative for if you didn't know. I also have worked with Influencer, which is just like a reviewing site of products, and I think that's a good brand. I like Roxbox, which is a jewelry subscription company. It definitely is a little bit pricey for me, not having a lot of money. So that's unfortunate, but I do love the concept of the brand. I also am working with Wholesome Culture, which I haven't posted about yet, but it's just a brand talking about keeping our planet clean, saving our planet, all of those things. So that is a good brand. It's a clothing brand, by the way. And then I think that's it. There's nothing else that I'm working with right now, but... Since we're talking about it, I'll leave my discount codes down below for all those brands. I do get commission on them, so if you don't want to use them, I'm fine with that, but you can use them if you'd like, so that's just for you. The next question is, what's the definition of dingus? And if you don't know, my family actually uses the word dingus on a regular basis. That's just something we call each other. If they're just being stupid, definition of dingus is someone who never knows what's going on, but you love them anyway. <laughs> and I think that's a perfect definition. So there you go. That's definition of dingus. We have three more questions. So the first one is, what was the hardest part about the transition to Tennessee? And I think the hardest part would be just that we don't know anybody here because like I said, summer is my prime season. I love summer and it's just the best to me. And to not have any friends to hang out with or, you know, do the summery things with has actually been very hard. But I'm praying and I'm hoping that I make some friends here soon. I just don't have any opportunities because I'm not working or going to school yet. So I haven't been able to, but I will hopefully soon i'm just praying for that watch my future friends like watch this video and they're like next one is a really stupid one what's a more attractive feature toes or ears and i guess i'd have to say ears because most people's toes have hair on it and that's really gross so and your toes get sweaty and your ears don't so i'd say ears to wrap up this q a is water wet I'm gonna go with yes. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you. That's it. I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys! And I'm going to name... I found three spiders in... I found three... Tucker! What are you doing? I told you not to come out. Hurry. Go, Nathan. Hurry up. On, I don't know which side I'm going to put it on, but...